Hey guys, this is going to be a quick guide of how to optimize your LinkedIn ads campaigns. So I'm going to go over a few different things because they're going to be different. So the first thing when you're optimizing a cold LinkedIn ad campaign is to look at frequency. So typically you'll toggle between 30 days and 90 days, uh, depending on how large your audience size is, this frequency number could be extremely different. So currently. Uh, the last 30 days, our cold campaign, uh, the average prospect only saw 1.6. And if I toggle 90 days, the average prospect saw 2.3 ads from our campaign. So it wouldn't make sense in this scenario with a large um, total addressable market, decent ad spend, the average frequency is one to two. It doesn't make sense to have a dozen different creatives in here. So optimizing for this campaign would be... On a performance basis, we want to look at the lowest cost per click, the highest click through rate, and we will we want to uh, boil it down to probably the top two ads. So I've, this is our account, so there's not going to be a ton here. Plus, I wrestle with uh, LinkedIn to keep get and keep my ads approved. Um, so if we look, so normally I'd come in here and I would then knowing that I want to boil this down to the top two ads. Um, let me. Let me go all time just so we have more data. Uh, so I would want to, you can either sort it by CTR, which is uh, click through rate, or you can sort it by cost per click. They actually should be pretty close. Like the highest click through rate should be one of the lowest cost per clicks. Um, but you know, it's not always the case. So either way. So in this case, uh, this is the highest click-through rate, and these ones have the lowest. Um, we also, you kind of want to preface that by uh, how much they've spent. So some of them that have, you know, spent a ton of money and still have a pretty high click-through rate, I'd weigh those, you know, a little more than ones that have spent $30, $60 if I have a higher click-through rate. So if I, if I go on that basis, uh, and if you have conversion tracking set up, of course, um, those would be weighted a little more too. Uh, so in this case, um, looking at these, you know, the reach, the cost per click, um, I would boil it down to, well, the ones that haven't been rejected, um, I would boil it down to, yes, this one is the current one I'm, I'm running. And then the other one that I am currently running is down here. And let's look at these two, just so you can see. Um, these one, this has a 0 0.31 click-through rate. So should I swap that out for some of these non-rejected ones that have a higher click-through rate? Let's and let's look at this one. So let's just take, let's take this one right above it, for example. Six, almost same amount of ad spend: four grand versus five point six grand. Total conversion value: it's got less, um, but it's spent less. Cost per conversions, pretty close, 500 per conversion versus 438. And our conversions are usually booked meetings. Um, and then we have a $19 cost per click, $19 cost per click. Pretty similar. So those two are really similar. Um, let's see if there's any above it that are not rejected um, that could be contenders. So most of these have too low sample size as far as ad spend. Um, but those are the main things I'm looking at. So like, if I had all of these, that were available. Let's just pretend all of these are available and I want to boil it down to the top two. So yeah, I would go to my um, cost per or my click through rate. I'd probably look at the highest click through rate. And usually that's my lowest cost per click. Um, and I'd probably go with those for my cold layer. And these were actually were doing the best for me. This one I think was actual absolute best. I had 35 uh, grand run through before LinkedIn shut it off. Uh, so for cold, I would do, and I would also do this. So go into settings, go to edit. And for this cold layer, this is your initial touch. This is just on the radar. If your frequency is 1.5 or two, I would boil it down to the top two ads and I would click this and I would make sure it's optimized for performance. So the only reason I'm not optimizing for performance right now is because I'm running a test and I don't want LinkedIn to skew towards the one that has more data. I want it to rotate evenly. So I, I'm forcing it to split it versus put all the, the money but money behind one. But for you guys, if you're optimizing your cold campaign, look at the frequency the last 90 days, boil it down now to that many ads, 
and then uh, optimize based on performance would be my recommendation. The way to optimize retargeting is a little more complicated because we have different goals. Okay, so let me uh, let me sort. Let's just look at last thirty days because that might be easier. And let's sort by spend. Um, so here's what I'm looking at. Like if you actually have your setup correct in a in a dream world or perfect world, you have conversion tracking set up not for just like form fills, but for booked calls and purchases, and you have values added to those conversions so that you can weight them. Now I'm optimizing based on um, cost, not just cost per conversion, because that could be any kind of conversion, like how you don't just want to optimize towards what's getting you the most like form fills um, for your ad dollars. You want to optimize towards the conversions that are worth the most. So I actually optimize based on total conversion value. So then if, if I have it set up correctly in, in here, which I think I just did the video before of conversion values, uh, then I would, I would sort by spend and then I would go down here and I would one by one, I would see if each campaign is pulling its weight in the retargeting layer. So this one spent a thousand and I've got 760 of, of, um, conversion value. So I can do a couple of things. I can downgrade that spend. Um, and upgrade some of these that are actually getting positive ROI, or I can come in here into that campaign and look to actually optimize that individual campaign and the way we do it. And it's a little different for retargeting because on these, I usually want even distribution depending on the type of campaign. So let's look at, this is, I know this one, this is a 90 day retargeting ad, uh, ad campaign. So we're actually going, and my mouse is being slow. We actually want to look at 90 days worth of data so that we get a fair assessment here. Let's go look at the spend. All right, and my mouse is being a little crazy. All right, so let's look at the spend. And so we'll see here. So which ads then are not pulling their weight? That's going to be the question. So kind of like how we were looking before, 900 spent, 500 conversion value. This one's double the ROI. Um, this one 260 and hasn't seen anything yet. So maybe we pause that one. And the ideal here is if we can run the ads that are getting positive, if we run a collection of ads that are getting positive ROI, then the, the ROI of the campaign will be positive. Uh, so for this one, I'm not ready to give this one up yet. Um, Cause this one actually, had been doing good for me in the past. So I want to keep running that. And I like this. These are, these are like, uh, screenshots, um, that I'm running as ads. So it's an organic screenshot of like one of my personal posts that I then use as a, a, a screenshot for the image of the ad and then run the traffic. But when they actually click learn more, or this is sneaky, if they click this, see more, it's actually part of the ad image, um, which instead of being really sneaky and sending them to my website, I actually just sent them to the full organic post. So they actually get to consume the whole post. And the idea is here. Um, and again, sorry, this isn't uh, a retargeting strategy or theory. Uh, this was just supposed to be optimizing. So I'm going to leave this, but the idea of this was just to build trust and credibility. It wasn't to send them to a form fill a landing page or anything like that. So let's get back here. Um, so I like that one and it might not be showing all the conversions, but I think that one's doing pretty good. This one, you know, it's, uh, I might have to run it, let it run a little bit longer. It's cutting it pretty close there. Um, and some of these other ones that I've cut off, I think we had tried them before and they weren't quite converting. Um, and some of these ones down here. So the other thing you want to think about is, uh, is this. So if the average frequency is four, then we want to boil this down to the top four ads. Um, and probably run on performance optimization versus even distribution on these. Uh, so actually, no, that's not right. Uh, as you can see, these ones aren't all just sending to the website for conversions. This, this is actually just trying to expose them to different things uh, and build trust and credibility. So I actually do want them to see as many ads from this ad set as possible. So in this one, I actually do want it to be set up for even distribution. Okay, so I do rotate ads evenly. I want that selected. Now, if I come back here, knowing that the 90 day frequency, and this is a 90 day campaign, um, I actually want this to be distributed. I want to run the top four ads. So actually in this case, um, I've, I think I've run a bunch of different experiments. So I'm gonna go all time. I'm gonna go conversion value. 
and I'm going to turn back on my top performing ones. And these ones, and yeah, these ones that are down at the bottom, I'm going to go ahead and turn those back off. Because right now it's doing even distribution. Ooh, this one's doing decent. So let's see if there's any of that don't make sense. So this one, I guess we could. We've spent a thousand on this and it's got 500 verse of conversion value. Whereas most of these actually have a positive ROI. This one we put $600 into and has $5,000 worth of conversion value. So I, I have four slots. My average frequency is four, right? Oh wait, oh, this is all time. My ad average frequency for 90 day, which this is a 90 day campaign is four or something. So I only want to run four, maybe five ads. So I probably need to turn, this one has double ROI, like two X ROI. So are any of these not cutting it? This one here. And probably because we have two very similar ones here. Okay, so I can actually probably cut this one out and let that one run. Let this one run. So three, four, and this could be the fifth. Okay. And this will funnel more information. So this is how you think about uh, retargeting optimization is what is the, what is the time frame? Is it a 90 day retargeting um, ad? If so, you need to go look at the 90 day frequency. You need to see how many, uh, what the frequency is for that campaign. So that was four. So we want to then decide, do I want to then run my four best ads and optimize for performance? Or do I want to run my four best ads, but rotate them evenly? Otherwise, you know, you might have one of those ads. It just gets shown to this prospect like four times. Um, and if you, and if it's, there's different kinds of retargeting ads. Uh, some of them are actually just pushes for a demo, pushes for a book call. So I actually have one of them here. Okay. 30 day high intent video uh, call booking. So this one is actually supposed to be pushing them to a booked call. Um, and it's only a 30 day retargeting. So the people that interact with my retargeting ads or visit my website multiple times through retargeting ads, um, they get this, this campaign pushed on them. So it says the average frequency is actually 5.7 over 30 days, which means I should be running more ads than this. But as you can see, the problem is actually LinkedIn really doesn't like LinkedIn ads agencies uh, running ads that say LinkedIn or even hint at LinkedIn. So that's actually difficult. So I should be running about five ads in here. And I should actually on this one be optimizing for performance because it's directly looking for a call to action. It's not looking just to distribute uh, information evenly. So that's just a basic crash course of how to optimize um, cold and retargeting LinkedIn ads.